They say your eyes are the window to your soul, so you really want them to look big and bright. Luckily, there are makeup tricks for that, and we've got a pro here to share them. Brittany Gray joins us now of Marilyn Smith fame. Like, that was incredible. So, Brittany, how do we start this, uh, this attempt to get our eyes to look bigger and brighter? Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to dip into your makeup bag and grab out your matte bronzer. Everybody needs a matte bronzer in their makeup bag, but it's going to be used for your eyes. So in a little bit of a different place than what you're probably used to, what you want to do is you want to grab that matte bronzer, you want to find a big sort of fluffy eyeshadow brush, and the first step is to create that warmth in the crease of your eyes. So you want to dip in, and then you kind of want to rock back and forth in the crease and sort of pull outwards and that's really gonna wake up your face wake up your eyes that is the first step I do not go without that step and truthfully I don't even bother with much eyeshadow in the crease other than that you always want to stay matte in the crease it's a must no shimmer in the crease at all so the next step to really just open the eyes up and give you just like a lot of life in the morning if you're feeling a little bit tired is to enlist in a champagne tone or dusty rose toned uh, eyeshadow. Pop a little bit on the lid of your eye and it just creates like a little zhuzh in the eye area. One thing that a lot of women love to do is they love to line their lash line to really make them feel awake and alive. And most people reach for a black pencil liner or liquid liner and what I would lo love to encourage you to do is to shift over to either a plum shade, a wine tone shade, or even like a deep brown shade, even a light brown shade depending on your skin tone, um, and use that instead. I personally love to use shadows um, for my liner and I love to put it just on the outskirts of my eyes, so sort of the outer third section of my eye area and I always give myself a little bit of a lift um, and a good little trick when you're doing a winged liner is to just sort of bring it up to the, the sort of end of your uh, brow and sort of lift towards that area that will give you a lifted aesthetic. And I just use like a brown shade like this. I also love using brown pencils and then sort of smudging it out with an angle brush. It really will wake up your face and it won't look harsh and it won't close in your eyes like sometimes using a black pencil or a black eyeliner can do. And just remember, the more blown out and soft, just the more elegant it looks. So you don't always have to do a harsh liner, especially if you're not comfortable with doing that. So the next step is do not discredit what, you know, taking 20 seconds to curl your lashes will do for opening up your eyes. And then you want to use your volumizing mascara. I am always on the hunt for an amazing lengthening and volumizing mascara combined. It doesn't need to be one or the other. And um, you just want to pop this on and always, always, always use waterproof mascara on the bottom lashes. And I love mascaras that are waterproof with a rubber wand so you can really get into those hard to reach areas. Areas. Ooh, this is good. Okay, the eyes are feeling bigger and brighter yeah. already. Mascara is a must. What okay. do you have for us at the very end? Your last tips. Okay, so the last tips to really open up those eyes is to enlist in a beige toned liner or a nude liner to put in your bottom waterline. So don't use white. A lot of people, you know, they might have heard to use a white eyeliner in there to really open things up. You wanna use beige. It's gonna look more natural. People's eyes aren't gonna go right to that white liner in your eyes. Um, that's gonna make a huge difference, especially if you have some redness in that area. It's gonna disguise that. And then what I love to do too is I just take a domed brush and I take that bronzer again, that matte bronzer, and I dust it underneath my eyes too, just to further open them up, but not in a harsh way. Love doing that. And if you're just in the mood for a little bit of fun, you can always pop on some falsies. And I love to cut these in half actually on both sides and just pop them on the outer corners of my eyes just to give me that doe-eyed kind of aesthetic. Ooh, I love this. Okay, we are ready to get masked up and have the beautiful, big, bright eyes. Brittany, thank you so much for those tips. That was great.